A reverse blue is a special kind of turnout that permits you to reverse the direction of your train. Your train pulls off into the loop going in one direction. By the time it gets around to complete the loop, it comes back onto the same track but going in the opposite direction. The most popular video I could find that showed how to reverse a loop involved finding a double pole, double throw switch, doing some soldering and some special wiring. It was way too complicated. What I want to do is show you an easy way to do this with the components that you can buy from Kato or you probably already have. What I've done is I've wired my outside lane to the loop and there's no power from the inside lane that goes to the loop at all. That makes operating the loop much more simple. Let me show you how I wired that up. I've got a simple double loop with two turnouts and that inside loop around the inside. To do this, I'm gonna need two power supplies, some insulated couplers, and the key thing is what they call an extension cord, a 24827. The first thing you do is you put the insulators isolating that inside loop from the rest of the track. Then wire the two power supplies to their own track, one to the inside track, one to the outside track. Then use the 2487 extension cord to connect both the outside track and the loop to the outside track's power supply. To do a reverse loop, adjust the switches to get the inside lane into the loop. While the train's in the loop, notice the outside power supply controls the outside lane and the loop. Adjust the switches to get out, reverse the polarity, and you're good to go. Always adjust the inside lane's direction while the train's in the loop. That way you won't short out anything. As you can see, this is an easy way to do a reverse loop.